Well, this was a this was a dark horse, so to speak. Dark horse. I've tasted these wines a lot. Uh, it came in from a broker who are usually bottom fishers. And here's this aged Cabernet from Peltier Station, Lodi. And Ooh, wow. I freaked over it. And I kept trying to find a problem with it. But I couldn't do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's almost got Napa in the nose. Isn't it with that green, green pepper? It's got a little green olive component, but it's not overpowering. You know? Mm -hmm. And it's beautifully aged Cabernet. What's the, what's the vintage on this guy? It's an 11, but 2011. Wow, is, talk about Stump the Wine Geek. Yeah, yeah. That's going to freak people out. But yeah. it's definitely Cabernet. I mean, it's obviously no Cabernet. You know? $16 on the shelf is a good price, actually. Yeah. And 7 dollars for more is a stupid price. Yeah, I'm doing a 94 on that one. I, I like hate it. saying that stupid price thing, because I got that vendor, one guy. You'll know who he is. I can't remember his name. And so here's the regular price, but the stupid price is, mm. is like this. I'm like, oh, shut up. These vendors have a tendency to take themselves so seriously. It's just a bottle of wine, boys and girls. You know. Well, yesterday, I was tasting day. I tasted 88 wines yesterday. Mm. It was the last tasting of the year, folks, that I had. People were bringing cases to taste. The funny thing was the, the, the rejection rate was much higher than usual. And a couple of them were new vendors, brand new, never been here. Mm -hmm. And they start, right? They pour the wine. Now this is the wine that we grow down there, and we we put and it's the rows of the are two feet apart. The vines and the I'm like, just pour the damn wine. And let me taste it. <laughs> Who cares how far apart the vines are? This is this is 96 for me. It's really yeah. I'm I'm uh, I'm 94, but I, I like it. 94. 94. I got to vary a little bit. 